project for so long. It feels like, I think, about two years. And mm -hmm. so to think that the show is finally going to be released in the public is just so surreal. I'm here with Seventeen doing Seventeen questions. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. Um, uh, this was a big episode for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I play this sort of intense, ruthless character, and this episode goes into my backstory, and you get to see a different side of my character, so I was super excited. And also, my best friend, longtime comedy friend, Parvesh Chena, is in the episode as my brother, and we get to do these really emotional scenes together. Meanwhile, on the other side of the stage, Snoop is there giving a concert. Really writing Latin characters the way I experienced it, or saw them in, in real life, how three-dimensional and, and brilliant land people are in real life. And I just wasn't seeing that in film, so I wanted to give it the full representation. It's a really, it's a really fun show, and it's funny, and it, you get to sing, and it's, it's just really, a, it's kind of one of those perfectly crafted shows. It's like, there's no dead space. It's just like... It is this garbage on? Yes? Okay. <clears throat> Hey, baby, do you remember me? It's Denise, money sign instead of the S. I spent 2,000 gold on this one-way box just to tell you to fuck off forever. Myself. So I found this photo that I was so excited about. This makeup artist did this gorgeous beat, and this girl was green. She was like a zombie movie star. And I was like, ah, oh, perfect, I'm doing that. I ordered myself some green body paint. I tried it on, and I was like... I was early 26. It was probably 24. Oh. Yeah, it's 34. There you okay. go. There you go. Yeah. I was on your show. A boat that goes around uh, Manhattan on both the rivers called the Spirit of New York. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, I think, unbeknownst to the people who just think they're getting like a simple cruise around Manhattan, it's also a musical cruise. Um, and so we'd open up every cruise to like let people know it was kind of a musical cruise by singing a boat themed parody of the Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling. Uh -huh. And like you'd slowly see it dawn in people's eyes like oh no this is a musical crew what am i doing um and it was like yeah it, like i can't hear that song now without rem just being like transplanted back to that work here is finished yes I, did it. i'll just let myself go now no um well i i i wasn't necessarily surprised because i was like listen you know I, I'm out here on the streets. You gotta lock it down. Okay. And I was like dropping hints left and right. I was like, babe, wow, my nails look so good. <laughs> and we went to Mexico um, for the holidays and he, I guess, set up this whole grand thing and then that fell through. And so on Christmas Eve, he was setting up this dinner on the balcony. Um, but I thought it was Christmas Eve dinner because I thought Christmas Eve was reserved for baby Jesus. So now I was like, oh, no, I, I, it's probably not going to happen tonight. And then it sure did. When I was 14, my parents uh, were separated from me. I, I, I'm a child of, of a, a separated family due to deportation. And it, I mean, it ruined... Uh, a lot, a lot of six years old, and I saw these kids dancing and singing, and I looked over at my mom and I said, "Mom, I want to be that. I want to be an orphan." And she looked at me weird. <laughs> and she's like, um, I've been traveling a lot recently, which has been fun, but it's weird. Like I've noticed that my race changes city to city. <laughs> like when I'm in Chicago, people just think that I'm half black, half white. When I'm in New York, people think that I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> But uh, when I'm in CVS, everyone thinks I'm stealing. And then even for a uh, Frozen 2 press, not to, to go to G.A.Y. for that, but I was <laughs> later at night, I, I did the press junket for Frozen Disney, little kids, and then at 1 in the morning. <laughs> so I, at the time, I was just, uh, I really wanted to do a comedy, and I kept telling my agency something like Parks and Rec, something like Parks and Rec, I want something like Parks and Rec. And then when pilot season came, which is this... I don't know if you guys know anything about TV, but it's basically like January, February is when they're casting all the new shows in television. And it's kind of shifted a little bit. Like some of the auditions happen earlier or later. Around November, I got an audition for actually the part of Amy Santiago because in the script, she was Latina. She is Latina. Um, and I went in to read for that. And the casting director, Allison Jones, who's cast a bunch of stuff, one of my favorites, Freaks and Geeks. She cast Parks and Rec. She's really great. Um, I went in to read for her and she was like, all right, here's the thing, though. You already have, like, one of the one of the greatest rappers in the world. In Black Knight. So it'd be really silly if we did this and we didn't do something together. Is that cool? Will you do that? My name is Jenna Ortega, and I'm going to show you what's, uh... 
actually don't know where my bag is. I'm getting ready to go to the Harper's Bazaar Women of the Year ceremony. I was like, I can literally like get lost in my bag. <laughs> Hola, les habla Soy Saldaña y hoy voy a compartir con ustedes todas mis cosas que done promo here, but um I I spent a good stint. I filmed here before during COVID, so I feel like this is a completely different city than <laughs> what I saw <laughs> previously. Oh, what up? It's your girl Liza Koshi and these I'm IGQ. Multitasking, by the way. I can only do one thing at a time, so uh, bear with me here. Yes, just build a pop while we talk. To get a breast reduction since I developed because I was in excruciating pain. I couldn't sit up straight. It was always super uncomfortable for me to sleep. It was uncomfortable to sit. It was uncomfortable to walk. And I remember breaking down in dressing rooms because I couldn't find a bathing suit because they had no top that would fit me. I just didn't feel right and I did it for myself. It was the best change I ever made in my life. Este, yo fuimos, eh, fue la repartición de cosas, ¿no? Y, y nos quedamos con el equipo de fotografía y montamos un, un cuarto oscuro en mi casa. Yo tendría pues como 13 años, yo creo. Y aprendí ahí a fotografiar y a revelar. Y ahora además con, es, es una tentación el digital y los teléfonos que ya son cámara y son... El little guy, is, he's, there he is. Oh. He's almost one. He's still in that like oh. smushy, like oh. squishy stage though. Oh. Oh. He's so oh. delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure, yeah. Cool. Um, so... Uh, there were these, uh, there were these two Jap, not, not two Japanese girls. I mean, they were, they were friends, but uh, it, not together. Um, and this is my quick on the go skincare routine and girls' night out makeup look. So let's, let's get started. I'm about to play song association with L. Get into it. I'll be given a word, and I'll have ten seconds to sing a song with that word in it. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to get them all right, you know, or Virgo. <laughs> Perfectionist. Me and Kat Graham, I am so excited that you guys are going to be with me on this never before journey. I'm going to bring you guys into how I actually do my hair, my makeup and skin routine. I'm biracial, so my mom couldn't really do my hair. She just dropped me off at the hair salon and I've been doing, getting my hair done by professionals almost every single week. The colors, we have so many different colors. I'm obsessed with vinyl. It's beautiful. Like I have too much. No. But I, yeah, I didn't like several different colors. Know how my brain works um, in order to catch it from doing bad things. Cause the brain is really tricky and it will tell you things that aren't true. And so knowing that I would remember a negative experience more than I'd remember a positive, I would really make it my mission to go. Oh. Well, cause I love this song and Shawn Mendes is he was actually the first person to ever like shout me out on social media before I was ever signed. Before my song came out, he posted my cover, and we've been friends ever since. And he's awesome, and I love this song, so Aww. I wanted to do.